that it's going to be difficult for Diddy Kong to really finesse. Chasing your opponent down and trapping them into corners with side B. And as I mentioned earlier, using peanuts correctly, all of these things are actually a little bit more difficult on Lilat due to the slope of the stage. So I think Bowser really uh, comes out ahead here if he's able to get the Lilat game one. And it looks like TNT gonna take the first strikes at the moment and looking for a tear immediately. Not quite spaced properly onto Bowser's up B, but he's gonna sneak out and get that Whirling Fortress started. It's a really good get off me tool in the corner. Yeah, and this is exactly what I was talking about before. You see the pressure coming out from the Diddy Kong player. He's looking to make sure that he's just hitting Bowser, not letting Bowser run up on him and control the pacing of the match. But can he get the edge guard tier? This is where Peanuts and Banana Traps really come into handy. He doesn't seem to have a mastery of that advantage state. And because he's not able to keep Bowser trapped on that ledge, the match is fairly even. You know, you do see a little bit more percent onto the Bowser player, but those kills aren't happening. And Diddy Kong right now is getting very close to the kill range. Bowser's gonna get this grab. There's an up air, almost kills him, not quite. That's a big opportunity, but up smash not gonna do it. As we see, forward smash across the stage, not even gonna send Bowser into the blast zone. Yeah, Bob, Bowser's a, a chunky individual. He's not gonna be dying from a forward smash across Lilat anytime soon. Maybe at the edge, but not across the stage. And okay, look at cancel with the gentleman jab and then grab the banana here is TDT. And the barrel's right in there. Yeah, a little surprised he didn't block that second hit. Good damage coming up from the Bowser, but TDT getting very greedy with some of these options. Somehow misses both of those Koopa Claws. Big punish opportunity here if we decide not to go for it. The dash attack working out here, and the second up smash going to finish the job. That is Bowser going down. Now, I, I just saw a very interesting thing happen there. Bard, in a way, stopped respecting his opponent a little bit because of some of these riskier, greedier options. And because of that, he just started to play slower because he said, if you're going to pick bad options like this, I'm just going to wait and block them and punish them. But the thing is, if you really, really feel like an opponent is a little bit weaker than you, you actually want to play more aggressive onto them and exploit their defensive bad habits instead of their offensive ones because mm -hmm. you still it's still hard to guess what random buttons your opponent is going to pick at you, even if they're really bad. Fortilt gonna stuff out that dash approach, and that will be the Diddy Kong going down. Not exactly how Bowser draws it up in their minds. If you're winning a matchup, or if you take a stock by doing that, but instead we got the shield break. Bro, that was beautiful. That, that was conversion really nice. was so sick. TDT looking like he's in trouble here. Bart getting a solid read to him. Okay, not gonna find it, but still gets a Whirling Fortress anyway to make sure he's not punished. And eats him right up with the up smash coming through his Bowser. Even taunts at the end. You can really see he lost all respect for his opponent once he started up being into him. He says, you're just throwing out crazy moves. I'm having none of it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a giant shell that is just going to destroy you. And there it is. That's game one. From behind, Bowser takes it. Diddy Kong, like you said, the ledge traps weren't there. No, not at all. He wasn't able to just even throw Bowser off stage to even start that. Yeah, I really like what uh, TDT was doing in the beginning of the match. You know, Tom, he comes, he had a nice rush down strategy, and he was uh, really putting on a lot of pressure. He was throwing out these forward oh, airs and baby. things like this, but now you can see Bowser's a little bit in his head. That's what you said, <laughs> taking advantage of the uh, defensive or disadvantageous weaknesses of TDT. Look, knowing that air is going to be there, coming right. in with the big feet. For sure. And as you can see now, Bart's just like, wait a minute, I can just press buttons against you because you're pressing buttons very incorrectly. Bart coming through again, breaking the zone. Did he really want that banana? Knowing that, comes through with the forward air. Oh no, we got the command drop? Kind of Not quite. Not yet. Did he surprisingly heavy? Oh, I thought it was just going to be a, a down smash there. Down smash would have done the trick. And it would have, like you said, caught the cross up. Just auto-corrected and killed him with the cross-up regardless. Right, exactly. And this is what I like from Tom. The pressure here, coming out with the fares. Just making sure that Bowser can't move, abusing the fact that his hurt box frame is so large. But unable to maintain this pressure, it looks like Bard's running away with the game a little bit here. And Bard's got the banana bow. You're going to break through with the forward air. And this is your chance. Okay. That's exactly what I was talking about. The peanut arcing over the ledge. Creates a very difficult situation for Bowser, but he's not maintaining it. That platform gonna be there to barely save him from getting devastated on that second stop. And a perfectly timed, but no follow-up coming out from TDT. Bard's breaking through these command grabs have just bought him so much mileage on this game too. He's gonna get a regular grab for his trouble, oh another God. air dodge, but it was like a sour Not, spot. Yeah, it was a sour spot. There's that down smash there again. 
cross-up proof. It seems Bart has made the adaptation and the two-stock is complete. Yeah. And punishing the poor defensive options coming up from TDT there. You know, just saying, you know what, you're going to press an air dodge at the wrong time. You're going to come with an overtly aggressive option. Things like this, you're not going to respect the spacing. You're not going to respect the zone, the control. I'm going to punish you. I'm Bowser. As you mentioned, got a big spiky shell, not afraid to put it in use. That's <laughs> going to be it for TDT here in the winner's bracket. Bard will advance. And I'm interested to see how this Bowser performs.